Today we look at the GTX 1650 Super versus the RX 580 4GB version. We take a look at these two cards in five popular video games, which include GTA 5, Fortnite, Watch Dogs Legion, Forza Horizon 5 and Cyberpunk 2077. So I have a quick overview of the two cards and then we'll jump into those benchmarks. So representing Team Green is this GTX 1650 Super. It's released on the 22nd of November 2019, comes with 4GB of GDDR6 memory, a base clock of 1530MHz and a boost clock of 1725MHz. And representing Team Red, it's the RX 580 4GB version, so not the 8GB version. And that was released on April the 18th, 2017. It comes in two memory sizes, the 4GB version or the 8GB version. Both came with GDDR5 memory. It had a base clock of 1257MHz and a boost clock of 1340MHz. So our first game today, GTA 5. On the GTX 1650 Super, at 1080p low, we saw an average of 158 with a minimum of 106 and a maximum of 267. On the RX 580, we saw an average of 55, a minimum of 96 and a maximum of 188. Moving to 1080p medium, the 1650 Super with an average of 150, a minimum of 36 and a maximum of 267. The RX 580 was an average of 140, a minimum of 107 and a maximum of 177. So that's 1-0 to the GTX 1650 Super. And moving on to Fortnite now, 1080p low, the 1650 Super was an average of 200, a minimum of 103 and a maximum of 313. The RX 580 was an average of 221 a minimum of 61 and a maximum of 328. At 1080p medium, the 1650 Super was an average of 158, a minimum of 90 and a maximum of 286. The RX 580 was an average of 157, a minimum of 66 and a maximum of 276. So for this one it's quite even, I'll give them a draw, so currently I'm going to say it's 2-1 to the 1650 Super. And Watch Dogs Legion now, 1080p low, 1650 Super, average of 82, minimum of 18 and a maximum of 121. RX 580 scored an average of 68 with a minimum of 37 and a maximum of 95. The 1080p medium score was an average of 74, a minimum of 28 and a maximum of 121. The RX 580 scored an average of 62, a minimum of 39 and a maximum of 77. So this is 3-1 to the 1650 Super. Moving on to Forza Horizon 5 now, 1080p low, the 1650 Super results an average of 120, a minimum of 102 and a maximum of 148. The RX 580 scored 89 average, a minimum of 74 and a maximum of 112. The 1080p medium score for the 1650 Super was an average of 93, a minimum of 76 and a maximum of 113. The 1080p medium for the RX 580 was an average of 73, a minimum of 59 and a maximum of 90. So again, that's 4-1 now to the 1650 Super. Our last game is Cyberpunk 2077. 1080p low, the GCX 1650 Super scored an average of 70, a minimum of 46 and a maximum of 101. The RX 580 scored an average of 60, a minimum of 35 and a maximum of 88. On to 1080p medium now, the 1650 Super scored an average of 55, a minimum of 39 and a maximum of 76. While the RX 580 scored an average of 47, a minimum of 32 and a maximum of 65. 5-1 Five now to the GTX 1650 Super. So as we can see there, the GTX 1650 Super is a superior card. However, the RX 580 does also come in with an 8GB version, so if you can get the 8GB version, it may be better longer term to actually get that than the 1650 Super. However, again, 
The GTX 1070 is currently available for around the 150 to 160 pound mark in the UK on eBay. So I'd recommend getting the GTX 1070, mainly because it's just going to be a better card and it's probably not going to cost you too much more because the pricing for the 1650 Super was around about 120 to 140 and the RX 580 was sort of around the same sort of price maybe 110 to 130 so maybe a little bit cheaper but overall getting the 1650 super it's a more modern card it only comes with four gigabytes which is a bit of a downside obviously in 2022 but you are going to get a little bit more extra performance so i would go team green with this one with the nvidia card so i hope you like this little overview and this little sort of analysis between these two cards they're still decent 1080p cards and either one would actually get you through still you know if you wanted to go to 1080p low perfectly fine on both cards and you could even drop settings further to maybe even 900p like medium or 900p high even and you could probably still get around about the same sort of result so you know obviously you have to understand that these are budget cards and they're not going to be 1440p monsters are they so it's just the way that the way the cards are so i hope you like this video guys please like for the algorithm to help me out and please subscribe if you want to see future videos from me and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys